reflecting that over the course of the last several weeks. Mentioned earlier, six teams qualified to compete here today. We'll only be seeing five of them because of some problems for the Cavalier Autonomous Racing Team from the University of Virginia. And Rob, we have some footage of a couple of incidents involving that team. One yesterday in their original car, and then another one this morning in a backup car that they sourced from one of their competitor teams that unfortunately has them ruled out. This is what happened yesterday. Yeah, they were trying to make a pass on uh, Polymoo there, and they, they came down the track to close the close the, uh, the pass off, which is sort of completes it, and they hit the white line right at the bottom of the track uh, where, the, where the track transitions to be a little bit flatter, and it's a little bit like hitting a curb. They lost control and they hit as hard as we've seen uh, any, of the cr any of these cars crash uh, over, the, over the months that they've been testing them. Uh, really destroyed the car and we're, we're you know, forced to go into a backup situation and luckily uh, Purdue stepped up and, and uh, we're able to join uh, forces with them. They were out this morning after really being up all night trying to load in their new software and something went wrong uh, either with the car or with the software and they just weren't able to, to, to get up and going so we won't see them out there today which is unfortunate and it's been a great story to see a, a team that hadn't qualified for the final rounds really uh, come together. This was another team that had not qualified